Greetings and salutations and thank you for clicking on the video. This is just a follow-up to the last video I posted where I kind of rambled on for about an hour while I installed Ubuntu 16.04 GNOME into a virtual machine and part of that video was a little script that I have been using for quite some time to kind of ease the task of setting up anything that's based on Ubuntu 16.04 and just bring some software in and that ordinarily you would have to go out and find the commands to put into the system and all that stuff like that. Well, I got to thinking about that today and I realized what I really ought to do is clean that up a little bit because the original version of that script that you saw in the video was a little bit rough. So it took a little time this afternoon and kind of went through it. And I'm going to make this available to anybody who wants it just by going to the Easy Linux website and I'm going to put a link uh, to the page on the site which is going to be under news and also I'll link this video in there so one's going to show up before the other <laughs> I'm, I'm going to try and publish the video after I get the page set up on easy Linux but anyway if this is something that you might want to have around uh, I did add some things to it so let me go through it real quick first of all just some explanations up top and then these three lines right here, they will look to see whether these utilities are installed on the machine. And if they are not, it will install them. So if you're using this on Linux Mint, for instance, GDB and Synaptic are already there. HTOP won't be. So it will go through here and whatever it needs that it doesn't have, it will go ahead and install. Now HTOP is just a little, that's a little application that I just find absolutely uh, indispensable when working with Linux machines so I went ahead and threw that in here uh, the next thing I have it doing is installing Ocean Audio which is an excellent audio editor for uh, Linux and then I have it uh, removing Firefox and replacing it with Google Chrome that's what it does here and then here it installs uh, super simple screen recorder and Spotify from their repository so it sets up the repositories first and then the very last thing that it does here is that it removes the dreaded Fluendo mp3 codec that I talked about and so after that it just echoes a little box that says it's done and this is the entire script right here so there are a couple of things that I wanted to point out I, you probably m might not want to have this install exactly the same packages but you will have to use GW uh, with this script because that's how this is set up to work so that one's going to have to be installed but you can change this any way you like uh, there are a couple of options here like for instance you'll notice that on uh, the install commands uh, it's got uh, YY and a Q so that would be right here for instance uh, basically that tells it install it and uh, keep it quiet it doesn't tell tell us a whole lot about what's going on on the screen so that's what the Y's do they they make the system go ahead and install it uh, without alerting you so it'll just roll right through that and then down here on this last command you'll notice that we have YY and QQ and that is uh, because if this piece of software uh, is not on the machine as it wouldn't be for Linux Mint or many other Ubuntu 16.04 derivatives uh, then this won't give you any output on the screen at all it just runs the command and if it isn't there it says oh it's not there never mind and it just goes on so the two Y's tell it yes absolutely go ahead and do what it's got to do it won't prompt you and the two Q's tell it to be very quiet about it so anyway that's what this uh, particular little script does and I'm gonna have this on the page and you can check it out for yourself at easylinux.com follow the link in the description to this video it'll take you directly to the easy Linux news article where this is posted and um, there you go thanks for uh, checking it out I do appreciate it and have fun with it uh, do check out easy Linux on the web check out easy Linux on Facebook and be sure and check out freedompenguin.com for lots of cool stories about Linux and we'll do it again soon